Hello and welcome back to Tuesday Storytime. My name's Lisa and I work for Somerset Libraries. And our last book for today is a real tongue twister. So you probably, you might know this one, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and get through this without any mistakes. So it's called I Will Not Wear Pink by Joyce Dunbar and Polly Dunbar with kind permission of Otter Barry uh, Books. Uh, their website is otterbarry.com. Anyway, so let's begin. What's this? An invitation? Mm, something there. I think it's clothes. Dear Plunkett, please come to my party. Theme, pink dream, fancy, frills, thrills. Yours, Oinky, Priscilla. Pink? Frills? Me? Yep, in the package. Lots of pink. Not likely, no, never. Not for nothing I'm called Plunkett the Plonker, Plunkett the Oinker, the Hooter the Honker, the Toff who showed off, stands out in a crowd. You can poke me or stroke me, you can grin, you can wink, but nothing and no one will make me wear pink. You may think that in pink I look such a corker. I look cooler than cool, hotter than hotter. I know it's a party with buns and balloons, but I don't want to preen, I don't want to prance. I don't want to hip hop in a plinky plonk dance. He's losing all of his costume by the look of it at the moment. For pink is so fooey, so daffy, so naff. Me dressed in pink would make a horse laugh. I'll kick up a fuss, I'll make a big stink, but I will not, just will not, I will not wear pink. Cotton candy is dandy, the pinkest of pinks. Roses, cold noses, flamingos, some toeses. Ballerinas in tutus, any pink goes. In all shades of green or orange or yellow, or all in between, I'd look a fine fellow. I'll wear blue, I'll wear purple, I'll wear black, I'll wear red. But in pink, popsy pink, I won't be seen dead. Dressed up in pink, no one will see me, no one will stare, for pink upon pink will look like thin air. Quite pimply and simply, they won't see I'm there. For there's one sort of pink, so divine, so sublime. And best of all, it's already mine. From the tip of my tail to the snoot of my snout, pink is the shade of the skin that I'm in. Pink's where I end and where I begin. Cos pink what I be, what I is, what I am, and pink I remain as ham or as spam. Pink, pinky pink, as you can see, it's all over, every bit, colour of me. So come, dear Priscilla, you pop it, you thriller. You're my pooch, come let's smooch, let's kiss and canoodle. Let's party and poodle, let's tipple and tootle. As a junket with a plunket, my sort of gig, you need nothing to wear. Just come as a pig. <laughs> come on, come all, let's have a ball. Strip off your gear, take off your clobber. Come wallow with me, come squash and some slobber. One sniff of the pole, one whiff of the sty, then you'll burst into song, you'll laugh and you'll cry. Mud, muddy mud, blob, blobby brown mud. Mud is so beautiful, mud is so good. I'm having a party in the mud. You may do as you please, you may prick, you may tease, but me, as for me, I'll be true to the hue that nature intended, the plunkiest plink, perfectly blended. But I will not, just will not, I will not wear pink. <laughs> there we go. And they're off in the balloon. <laughs> There we go. So, I Will Not Wear Pink by Joyce Dunbar and Polly Dunbar with kind permission of Otter Barry. Right, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us for another story time. And I'll see you next week for the next story time. Right, thank you. Bye.